man from Bangor in Northern Ireland, my hometown, has been arrested and charged with the following offence. Publishing written material which was threatening, abusive or insulting with the intent of stirring up hatred or arousing fear. That's what he's been charged with, okay? He's been remanded in custody until the 27th of September. But what did he say? What was the heinous thing that this man said to get him locked up, to get his liberty taken off him? Well, let's have a look. There was a post, and this post was widely circulating in Northern Ireland, WhatsApp groups. Loads of people got it sent to them, okay? And at, at the end of the post, now, this gentleman did not share this, did not write this post. This was a post that was being shared. He reshared it, okay? And this is what it said. Um, it referred to the Christian West. Well, that's a fact. The West is Christian being under siege, right? This is in the post that he, not, he didn't write it. He just shared it. And then it says, um, people, at what, then the post says, people had one chance to stop the spread of evil Islam. Okay, he tried to get bail, tried to get out. His, his, his granddaughter's due to be born. The judge wouldn't allow bail, wouldn't allow him bail. And what did the judge say? This is what the judge said. It's absolutely incredible. The judge said there was no hierarchy of individuals within the community and said there was a fundamental problem with regard to people who viewed some religions as evil. Really? Okay, let's think about this. Satanism is classed as a religion. There's actually a church of Satan. Now, in folklore, in Christianity, in the media, in culture, Satanism is classed as evil. End of. So if you went and turned around and said, um, Satanism was evil, would you face the same consequences? If Richard Dawkins came to Northern Ireland and Richard Dawkins thinks all religions evil. So if he started saying that Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, whatever, whatever re religion he wants to pick on is evil, would he be locked up in the slammer, remanded and getting hauled before the judge on the 27th of September? I think not. So what is it about this specific religion that seems to make it a criminal offence to critique it? Now, blasphemy laws as far as I knew, were old hats. They were a thing of the past. But it seems like when you pick on this one religion, well, you're going to get a response, aren't you? And let's look at this from a, from a theological point of view, okay? Islam denies the deity of Christ, plain and simple. It denies that Jesus Christ is God and obviously denies the fatherhood of God, the sonship of Jesus Christ. In the Bible, the Bible says this, it says, Whoever denies the Father and the Son is Antichrist. That's what it says in John's letters. John's pastoral epistles tell us that to deny the Son, deny the Father, in other words, deny the deity of Jesus Christ, this is Antichrist. And again, if we look at Antichrist in religion, in Christianity, in folklore, in media, the Antichrist is always portrayed as evil. So how far does this judge want to go? Is he actually going to lock up any pastor that reads that passage from the Bible and maybe identifies it with Islam? Which you could do. And it would be, fa it would be factual. It would be f theologically correct to say that. Is that now a criminal offence in Northern Ireland? This is something that we've really got to find out about. Um, this is chilling. This is chilling because it means you cannot hold a theological perspective. What about, um, and this is, a, this is a theological position I don't agree with. What about those that believe that the Pope is the Antichrist and therefore evil? Are they going to be dragged before the judge now? Because that is a, a, a very, very Protestant Northern Irish thing. Where's the line drawn? Where are the boundaries? I think what's happening in this country is extremely chilling, extremely sinister. And personally, I believe people are being arrested and locked up 
I'm not talking about this specific case, but in general, people have been a, a, a arrested and locked up purely on political grounds. And I think a lot of these cases are going to be thrown, laughed out of court when they get a decent barrister on them. But in the meantime, in the meantime, people are getting their lives turned upside down, their houses turned upside down, their careers turned upside down for stating things that up until a month ago, you could have said anywhere in the whole of the UK and nobody would have been battering your door in or arresting you at airports. Anyway, rant over. Just who's next and what's next? Um, this is absolutely chilling in the extreme. And it's, yeah, I've no words literally to, to finish this video other than to say we need our freedom back. And those political prisoners, and I believe the people that are getting locked up at the minute are political prisoners, they need their freedom back as well. See you all soon.